Hey y'all, welcome back to Gangster Goodies Kitchen. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. I don't know about y'all, I live in the Midwest, first of all, and so the winters are brutal. They can be, not every winter, but this winter, we've had some really, really cold days. So I'm dreaming of a place that I've been before, which is sunny Jamaica. And so that is where my inspiration came today. So I'm gonna show you how to make Chicken and shrimp curry chicken. We serve it over rice, add some vegetables to it, and we have a very tasty dish that reminds me of the sun, the beach, and all of that loveliness in Jamaica. So the first thing that we're going to do, uh, we heat up a little bit of oil. I use a little bit of coconut oil, maybe a tablespoon uh, in your, like your Dutch oven. I took half an onion, and we're going to put that and let it start browning. And as you can tell, I didn't let it get hot enough. So it's important to let it get hot enough or you would actually hear that sizzle. So um, make sure your, skin, your oil is hot enough uh, before you get started. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Um, and so we just begin to let those onions cook. And then I'm going to add a little bit of curry. Now, I like curry, and this is a Jamaican curry. You'll find Indian curry, uh, Asian curry, but this is Jamaican curry. And so I'm going to start layering the seasoning. So I have a little uh, teaspoon measuring here, and I'm going to add my first teaspoon of curry. Now it's starting to sizzle. So we're just kind of mixing that in uh, so that... Oh my God, the fragrance from that curry is already popping, y'all. So now we're going to add, I took half of a red bell pepper and chopped that up. So we're gonna add that in there. Y'all know I love red bell pepper, so I put it in almost everything. And you just kind of start uh, blending that together. can see those colors. Oh my God. And I like sweet potatoes. I absolutely love sweet potatoes. So I took half of a sweet potato and I chunked it, just cut it into little chunks, you know, kind of like this. And so I'm going to now put that in there. And the last thing I'm going to add to the pot is some fresh garlic. I took two cloves of garlic, fresh, you know, two cloves, chopped it up. And so now we're going to put that in there because we don't want the garlic to burn. So we got to be careful with that. And then I'm going to add another layer of curry. Now, curry is kind of to taste, y'all. So I like curry a lot, but... I would suggest that you use a little bit at a time, taste it. You don't have a curry seasoning that you want. I also use just a little bit of uh, Himalayan pink salt and a little bit of uh, cracked uh, pepper. So now we're getting, oh my God, that smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. I really do. And so as that is all cooking together and you'll see like, and you scrape up those little brown bits at the bottom of the pan so that you get all of that. That's all flavor, y'all. And so you're going to just kind of let that cook for a minute because you want those sweet potatoes uh, to cook before a little bit before you add the chicken. Um, I took a chicken breast. Normally, I would probably use a chicken thigh, but I had a chicken breast at home. So I took a breast and a half, chunked it up, seasoned it a little bit, and we're going to add that to it. And you just mix it all in together. And again, those little brown bits that are going to be at the bottom, get those because that's flavor. Okay. So before I show you guys the last couple of ingredients we're going to put in, I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. So here we have over here our curry, chicken, and shrimp. And it 
And then I paired it with uh, Brussels sprouts, which is one of my favorites. You know, the sauce, you will make a little bit of a gravy. And so you can add as much as you like or as little as you like. And of course, you guys know I got to taste it for you so I can tell you how fire it is. So. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is pretty fire, you guys. So we're coming back over here and the chicken is starting to cook. Now we're going to add just a little bit of chicken broth. Maybe half a cup. And you kind of determine really how much you're going to use to bake, depending on how much gravy you want to make. And so I would start with like a half a cup. Then I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk. The coconut milk adds a creaminess to it that the chicken broth alone just does not have. So again, maybe about a half a cup. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. And then after we've got that in there, we are going to put the lid on it and then we're gonna let it cook. We're gonna let it simmer, let it cook for about 10 minutes. Then you'll take the lid off. By then your chicken will be done. Uh, the last thing you're going to put in is your shrimp. And so I seasoned the shrimp with just a little bit of the uh, curry seasoning and some other spices that I like. So, but you want to make sure that the chicken is done before you put the shrimp in there because you know it's not going to take the shrimp but two minutes to cook. And that's probably just about a half a pound, a quarter of a pound. And again, you're going to season to taste, taste it, see what you think. If you like more curry, add more curry. Um, so, Again, today I showed you how to make our chicken and shrimp curry. Served over rice. I whipped up some Brussels sprouts. You make whatever vegetable you want, but, you know, you got to add a vegetable, right? So uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us, subscribe, share, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and tweet. I keep saying that, y'all, but it's amazing to me that I'm like, oh, yeah, I get to tweet now. So, and Twitter as well. So uh, be on the lookout. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up in store for you in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. So thanks again for watching and the recipe will be up and we hope you try it. Have a good day.